Tonight's matchup featured two of WCC's top leading scorers, BYU's Tyler Haas and SCU's Brandon Clark. However, with SCU missing two of its starters in John MacArthur and Evan Rockamore, it was going to be an uphill battle against the fourth best scoring team in the nation, the BYU Cougars. Well, it was a good game for us. I mean, we really needed this one, and uh, in spurts we looked really good, and in some spurts we didn't, so it's something we're going to need to build on. You guys are now on a five-game winning streak. Right before that, you were on a four-game losing streak. Describe the difference of how you guys have been able to make those adjustments and turn your season around. Um, definitely just staying positive. I know you look around the, you know, the whole country, and teams that are you know really good are going on losing streaks like we went on so I think the, the, the main thing is just staying positive and battling through it. There's days in practice where Ants really gets it going and really shoots the ball well and uh, I, I know it was in him and he, he stepped up tonight and was ready ready for that challenge and um, he, he was big time in that first half. First half, we put ourselves in a little bit of a hole. So you know, coming uh, into halftime, we we just talked about how we had to uh, try to catch back up each four uh, four minute segment. We had to try to rally together and try to bring the score down as much as we could. And you know, I'm proud of my team for fighting. And you know, we easily could have folded and just gave up. But uh, I'm proud of us fighting to the end. And we fell up a little short. But next time, since they're a really good team, we we can't give them that type of lead in the first half. They're, they're a veteran ball, ball club. They came out and uh, hit us in the mouth early. Um, I think we did a good job of battling back late. Um, every, every loss is a learning experience for us. We're a young bunch. Uh, we're going to get back into the gym and, and work hard for the next game. Tell me about the effect of uh, having Haas out basically the entire first half due to foul trouble. Oh, yeah. We never want him on the bench. Uh, Man, I've never seen two fouls so quick, so uh, we plan on having them in the game. But uh, it was good for us to, you know, be able to work on stuff without them in there because, uh, you know, you never know. Yeah, Matt's been playing awesome. I, I feel like um, he's making everyone around him better and um, making good decisions in transition, uh, getting us into our offense and really shooting the ball well. And I... Uh, uh, when he's playing well, everyone else plays well. So but We knew that uh, they play a lot of zone, and we knew that uh, it was going to kind of force us to shoot some shots. But we, in the second half, I think me and Brandon did a better job of making sure we get to the basket and not settling for three-pointers and trying to get fouled or make a layup or dish it out to a teammate. But I think in the first half, we kind of uh, settled for the shots, and next time we play them, we got to just be aggressive in the beginning. you got to tell me, how did it feel without ha playing this game Tough BYU squad, as we pointed out, without MacArthur and Rockamore. Uh, well, you know, it was real hard because you know there are uh, two starters, uh, seniors in this program. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you know, with what we have, we can't uh, come together and win the game or just play hard. I knew that I had to take more of a, uh, be more vocal than ever uh, in this game because uh, we're bringing guys in that had to step up their roles that they're not used to. Um, but I, I have to remain poised and trust into the coach's game plan uh, that they give us the best opportunity to win. I actually grew up with Evan. Uh, we played on the same AU team like fifth through sixth grade, so I, I know him pretty well. I know his family really well. Hearing that he wasn't going to play, I was a little disappointed because I, I love playing against him, but at the same time, I knew it would help us because you know that he's such a great player. No matter with uh, who we're missing, we're all going to have to step up our game and even the players that came off the bench. And I think they did a terrific job, and, I, and I'm proud of them for that. We're happy with a win. No, we'll take we'll take a win. Obviously, there's things to improve on, and the, the that's a great team over there. And uh, they they made a run and hit some hit a bunch of threes down the stretch. And I mean, we we could have obviously done a, a lot better job getting to those guys. And uh, we'll look at it on film and get better. But uh, we're happy with the win. Despite essentially missing the entire first half due to foul trouble, Tyler Haas still managed to get 16 points and be second on the team in scoring, help leading the BYU Cougars to its fifth victory in a row. As for Santa Clara, the game turned into an opportunity for the younger players to rise up, led by Jared Brownridge and his 30-point effort. In Santa Clara, Edwin Wise, GetSportsFocus.com.